Hi, Stark Centeno, and this is my What Causes CCI series. Today, we're going to jump into tachycardia or rapid heart rate. Now, listen, there are lots of things that can cause tachycardia that you need to get ruled out by a qualified cardiologist. But assuming all of that's been ruled out and you've got craniocervical instability and tachycardia, then the link between those two is usually irritation of the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve can get irritated at the transverse process of C1 when there's C1, C2 instability in CCI. And the vagus nerve serves as the brakes on the heart rate. So if the vagus nerve gets irritated, we remove those brakes and thus the heart rate gets faster or tachycardia. Now, again, you've got to make sure that all the common causes of tachycardia are ruled out. But if they are ruled out and you've got CCI, that could be the link between the two. Now, how do you treat that? Well, biggest way to treat it is to treat the CCI. If you get rid of that instability and get rid of that irritation, that usually helps. We can also perform higher dissection of the vagus nerve separately if that's required. So again, there is a link between craniocervical instability and tachycardia. Many of my CCI patients have tachycardia. Good news is when we treat that, it usually goes away. Hopefully this answers that question. Thanks much for watching. Have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.